like to think Volker was uh, a very confident, capable astrophysicist, especially on Icarus. And uh, that's kind of challenged when he ends up on Destiny. I find that he's, he feels like the child of divorced parents. I mean, here you have him taking orders from Young, and then he's being pushed aside by someone he looks up to. And of course, then you have Eli come in, and who kind of steals my wind a little bit, right? So I'm, I'm kind of being bounced around between these guys. Hey guys, we're standing outside stage four, which is the home of the Destiny. It's the last day of filming on the uh, episode of Pain, and we're going to be filming a coffin scene, and everyone's really excited, and I'm not sure if they're excited because of how they're going to film it, or it's because they get to nail me into a box. I did an episode of SG-1. I spent the entire three days in a coma. And then uh, I did an episode of uh, Atlantis. And I played a, a Genie soldier and I was shot and I was done by lunch. But I never got to go through the gate. So I never really felt, felt part of the whole mythology of the show. The very first day for Stargate Universe, I showed up and it was the evacuation scene. I had no idea of my place. But the very first thing I had to do was walk through that Stargate. And just that alone was exciting. I've never been part of a show that's just started. You know, I've always been just kind of a day player or what have you. And the moment when I realized that something was up that was out of the ordinary for my career thus far was being in the wardrobe fitting. <laughs> Val's putting me in this stuff and she says, so do you like your outfit? And I've been at so many wardrobe fittings, I'm like, yeah, it's good. She's like, no, do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. She's like, because you could be wearing this for a while. So that was an odd thing to, to really invest in my opinion whether or not this is something I'd like to wear. And that was just kind of, it snowballed since then. 